I've been fortunate or unfortunate to have experienced a lot of stuff. I know life can be cruel. When my clients talk to me, I feel those emotions, I feel like I can relate. I make them aware of the harsh realities of life. There's no point selling them no dream. You have to know what's out there for you to be able to deal with it. My name is Moses Adeyemi. I use mental and physical training to improve individuals' well-being. Yeah, come on. Three, two, come on. And again, straight away, go. One, come on. Two, come on. Yep, yeah, we go. Yep, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I want to speak to you. Listen, off Nine, come on. Keep going. Nine, come on. Eight, come on. Seven, come on. Man. Keep going, keep going, Fuck. keep going. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. Ten. Take bloody things off of you, man. Get frustrated. Last one. Get frustrated. Come on, last one. You've got to let it out. It's better out than in. <sighs> The feeling just before you go commit a robbery, especially something like a bank, oh man, the adrenaline is just overwhelming. One minute that you're celebrating, thinking, yes, we've done it. You know, we had like 30 grand sitting in the car. And yeah, little did we know there was a surprise waiting for us at the end of the road. There was police officers coming out of the helicopter down there, running towards me. So I was literally lost as to where to go. It was a thing of approaching that wall over there. And looking at it now, I feel like I would do it easily, but back then it was impossible. If I got over it and I never got caught, I probably would still be out committing crime right now and maybe getting caught for something a lot more serious. So now I appreciate the fact that the wall was there. It was like a reality check. It's over now, you're done. I don't hate the person I used to be. I was doing bad things, but I was mentally strong enough to say, do you know what, I'm done with that lifestyle. We all know the difference between right and wrong is about are you strong enough to stick to the right path? In my work, I give people the tools to be able to do that themselves. This gets on my nerves. I don't like being out of my comfortable zone, bro. Um... Do you want to be where it's comfortable and it's easy and you know? I say I don't know because I haven't even been there yet. My whole Let's life has always there. been complicated and it's annoying. What do you think I do? What do you feel, like, being around me? You think it's just about gym? No, not even. I don't know what's my problem, bro. I have a massive problem, but I can't even put a word to it still. Because I'm always in the same bloody boat, bro. And so you need to take control, though? You need to take control yeah, of the situation? Yeah, but I don't know how to, bro. Opportunities might be in front of you, but you don't, you're just like, you're afraid and you're not willing to take that step to go, but that's, to go get it. But right now, I don't have anything. You know what I'm saying? Like. So what are you I, willing I don't... to get anything? I, I, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm that's trying to go to university. About. That's what, what I'm trying about. to. I'm trying to. So you're ready to take that step? Yeah. And but... accept help from whoever. So if I said, "Oh, I can get you into this. I can sort out that housing. I can sort out that uni application. I can sort out that job," are you willing to take that step? Yeah. Let's move on. Everybody knows the right answer to whatever situation or circumstance they find themselves in, but they find it very difficult to apply it to themselves. But I never tell anyone what to do. I just show them the bigger picture. This house is bigger. Longer, who's that longer? The lighter one is longer. No, hold on, hold on. You're twisting that way. Let me twist that way as well. Excuse me, sir. Where am I twisting? Okay, when you twist, you get the ball. I wasn't when doing you, that. Yes, yeah, she was. I saw you. I was like this. I started to keep fit. But my peace of mind, but my self esteem is all about me. I have to do it. I need to do it. I have to train. I don't know. It's, I come to the gym and I'll just feel better about myself no matter what's going on. If I was to stop training, I don't know, I think I'll get proper depressed because this is the only thing I look forward to every single day. Like, I have the my shittest day of the week and I figure, yeah, I'm going to come gym later. If you was an artist and you love drawing, if you can't draw, you're going to... What are you going to do? But some people can't really see it. They just think they come into the gym trying to look big and scary. Has any of my teeth come out yet? This one's wobbling. It's still wobbling? This, this what one? Which one's wobbling? <laughs> nice. My mum left me when I was born in the hospital. Um, she was very young, so she left. 
And while she was pregnant, my dad traveled and he never came back to the UK. And my aunt here, that's in why she came to visit my mum in the hospital a couple of days after I was born. And she was told that the lady had run away, but the child is there. She was only 15 herself and she took me in and she raised me until the age of nine. Before you said you don't play with your kids. But it was rough. Their mums don't let me play with them. This is like my rough stuff. I think I tend to talk to them more and play. They need to have a really strong mindset to be able to take on what the world is going to bring to them. And that's for me, that's more important than playing around and stuff, you know? This, like, what is this? Three. Don't lock it. Come on. Four. Come on. There we go. Five. I always thought to myself, if I was your size with my puny head. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought of that. Always. <laughs> uh, with me, like once I get a little bit, like when, when I get into that fire zone, mm -hmm. wherever I go, I carry it with me. So it happens? Yeah. What? Just people judge people and I have a problem with biting back. Someone's saying, watch your mouth. You don't know who you're talking to. And I'm like, shut up. And he's like, what, because let's set pace? I'm thinking. And that's what happened. I was just, I'm like, I was just. You know, I've you know. I know all of it. Of course you I do. You know all of it. I'm not you know. stupid. There's nothing now, and this is not me, not me being proud of it, but there's nothing now in terms of violence wise that you can go do that I ain't done. Even worse so. And I can admit that now because I've been sentenced for it. It's all over my criminal record. Do you get it? And every single violent thing I've ever done, I look back and I was thinking, you know what, I could have walked away that. Because I didn't benefit from it. If anything, I lost. Lost my freedom, lost my house, lost my kids, lost my girl. Because it was like ego to me. Just maturity. Again, there's nothing I can tell you that you don't know. Last set, come. <clears throat> Last one, I want 10, yeah? Proper 10. Two. Three. Faster, come on, four, easy. Like, I don't really come to the gym to tell you about my problems. I don't it's know like, nothing about you personally. But it depends on what... I didn't even know you read books. I know, I didn't even read. You did know I read books. No, I didn't. No, I... How did I know you read books? We could all have the same stresses right now, but we're keeping it to ourselves because, I don't know, we're afraid to let it. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to speak to other people because I'm in the same boat. It's going to be very hard for me to kind of tell as much as I'm close to them. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Things are hard right now. We don't do it. I don't know why we don't do it, but we don't do it. Anymore. What I do is it allowed me to be better within myself because I speak a lot more now. For me to expect someone to open up to me, I gotta open up to them. And then once I'm open up to people, I, you know, I'm thinking, ah, do you know what? I'm not the only one that's feeling a certain way. You're feeling this one now, yeah? Eight, come on. Seven, come on. Six, just your toes, come on. Five, come on. Four, come on, three more. Two, one, okay. Probation officer don't get it. Social worker don't get it. All these people, all this authority, they don't get it because they're not about that. They ain't been through it. It's true. I mean, they, ain't, they ain't been on the roads. Or they went not done to it. Do you know what I'm saying? So how can they help? They're just gonna nah. read stuff off the paper to them. Like, you know, this yeah, is I've had that all my life, though. Just what I'm saying. So we could sit out all day and brag about all the things we've been through to each other. But it's not about that, though, is exactly. it? Exactly. It's, it's about, not about that. looking forward and trying to be better. People look at me for the answer and the guy that's always okay, the guy that's got it all sorted out. I'm not allowed to show my weakness because I always have to maintain that image. I imprison myself within my own thoughts because I feel as though I can't expose that to anyone. I need to learn to talk more and to allow myself to be vulnerable for other people. I just know how dangerous emotions can be. I want to always maintain control of it. I don't want it to take over me. Maybe that's wrong, but who knows better? You know, I'm still learning myself.